Soon the end times will be here. It's our politics that would initiate it. <clears throat> they have been wanting to war against God for a long time. They knew of this ap apocalyptic outcome and will try anything to win this war. The thing is, if this supposed prophecy is not real, that this whole thing was a sham from the very beginning, that we as human beings are all very nuts. I'm not saying I don't believe in God or a creator of a sort. I am just, and I must stress that who or whatever did create us deserves our utmost respect of the highest ab abundance. That to me is God. The enlightened ones, those who those in which I had no idea I was representing because the bringer of light is the deceiver. I used to be the, I used to be in Kabbalah and I used to realize and until I realized it was a re religion based on lies. <clears throat> Just as the world we live in is all a deception. This world we created based on a belief is all a scam to control and dictate our world. Our history books have fabricated have fabrication written all over them. The schools are getting to a point where no one where no where we no longer have have to teach anyone because the smarts already have who they need to dominate and take over. The rest of us they have no need for. They have their armies, their medics, their silencers, their government. They don't need any more. Especially the ones who know their schemes and will not cooperate with them. However, there are some who know but don't care, or they won't believe such a thing could exist at all. How can we sit here and believe in God or heaven or hell, Lucifer, all of the spiritual phenomenons? Some would even classify it as a myth or fantasy, but as something as so real that can be earthly devastating, and we are not paying a lick of attention to it at all. Why? Well, look at all the things that we have to steal. We have to steal our attention away from what is really happening. And the best part is, is that we accept what the news and the media say about how screwed up our world is. They give us so much bad news and we become tired of hearing it. But news reporters only tell you what is on a teleprompter. For all they know, they are feeding you all false information. But who cares, right? As long as we have to pay bills, as long as we have bills to pay, mouths to feed, toys of every kind to buy, whether we need these toys or not, who cares who's planning our in, in, instinction, right? We have better things to worry about. The Twin Towers was just the start of start to the massive destruction that was about to play that is about to play out. I'm telling you all this because this is serious. We are heading for world domination. It may not seem like it right now because we live in such a free world or the illusion of a free world, but we are not in a free world. I just got news that uh, that uh, of chemtrails, uh, things that we are breathing right now in the, in the skies that are falling from the skies. Um, <clears throat> They, a, a person wrote down all the things that we are breathing from the chemtrails, the jets that fly in the sky, and um, uh, he said he writes, "You are now breathing ethylene." I'm I'm not really sure how all this goes, uh, how all this reads, because I'm not a scientist who reads you know big words like that, but um, ethylene. Um, Debramin, nanoparticles of aluminum, barium, strontium, sulfur, and canatonic <coughs> polymer fibers with unidentified uh, bioactive materials. 
and um, it breeds further long-term chronic exposures to such toxins, destroy the body's immune system, leaving you vulnerable to serious infection disease. Also, they, they have antibiotics for this, flu shots, all this kind of stuff, but do you ever wonder where these antibiotics and flu shots come from? They already had the cure for all this stuff, but the problem is, is these antibiotics and cures that they came up with only make you more sicker and break you down even more. Um, we are falling for it. We're being stupid. Let's wise up.